what is up everybody welcome back enigmatic 2 i know right crazy we're just cruising as you can see i've done a couple things around here and i've gotten a few things together um you know a little bit of off camera work i know right crazy crazy um, but I put up some of the drawers. I, I actually really like it. I really do. And then I'm just kind of using some of this polished andesite that I have to make these bricks and whatnot. And I'm kind of liking it. We're going to maybe go with a little mini castle up here. Who knows, right? Um, but at least this is a good start. A little bit of a footprint, to say the least. Um, we got lots of loot. Well, maybe not lots. But we have a decent amount of loot all things considered, and there's a lot of things that we must do. Um, I ran over here, I made some golden lessos, okay? And basically, I went and got some animals. Now, you're probably wondering, why did I grab Minecraft animals? At least I hope you're wondering that, because there's a reason for it, and that reason is the Animania animals require a lot of additional love to say the least um, if you know what I mean they need the perfect setting they need all this and that right so we're gonna kind of sort of ignore those animals for now okay um, I might plan on like riling them all up at some point in time and keeping them all in a pen you know and doing some of that but we'll go there as we get as we get closer and closer okay so vanilla ones guess what they work amazing they give me the loot that i want and that's the main thing right at least for now at least for now all right that's it that's all okay little disclaimer dunzo closed you name it the other one that i wanted to bring up is a major one thank you all so much just thank you all the support that my community shows me is almost second to none, and I appreciate it. I appreciate it more than I probably can ever say, so thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyways, uh, on the nutrition train, we've gotten our grain up quite nicely, but fruit, dairy, and vegetable are a little bit of a miss. Now, I did find this turnip soup, which provides dairy fruit and vegetable and 2.4 percent that's not bad right uh worth of of goodies so not a bad little starting food pretty easy to make just some butter and a couple of crops so not too too bad we'll dabble on that one there's also a beet one i think if i'm not mistaken uh not the beetroot soup the uh yeah, beet salad, this guy right here. It's got dairy, fruit, and vegetable 2.4 as well because it's got the cheese in it. But then you'd have to get the vinegar, which is grapes, which we can get from Pam's. But I've not found a tropical garden. So we don't really have grapes at this point in time. Okay. I think I have them from rustic? Question mark. Yeah, I have grape seeds here. I honestly don't remember how to do that. I'd have to look it up. But so we can get grapes. I think it involves like crop sticks or something in a specific height. I, I honestly can't recall. Um, but yeah, so I set up a little pens over there for our animals. Nice little spot up on the hill there, kind of cresting in between our nether portal. As you can see, we're starting to branch out. Um, I'm kind of thinking a big main room up here you know, having our storage, having the smeltery, and maybe some of our machines up here. And then I want to kind of come down and have like walkways. Like we might do an astral sorcery over there. We'll probably have a walkway coming down into that and kind of make like a little, maybe we'll do like a medieval town or something like that uh, to our base. Okay. Now, the other thing, I don't think, does this cost a lot? Drawer controller. Redstone engineering, sky stone block, reinforced stone. It's not that bad. That's not that bad. That guy, Constantine. It's not that bad, right? It's not too bad. We can make that. Copper plates, redstone gear. 
Yeah, by theory, we could make the drawer controller, couldn't we? I think so. Um, Skystone. I'm pretty sure I can mine it. Let's go find out quickly. Because a drawer controller would be super nice to have as we start to progress on all of that, right? And we got our meteor over here. So let's go take a quick glance. Um, we do have, like, manulin on our pickaxe. So I hope we can... We can, like, venture into that. I don't see why we wouldn't, but I guess we'll find out, right? Oh, yeah, it's only osmium. Look at that. No big deal. No big deal at all. And there's some iron there. Beautiful. Beauty. Beauty. Look at that. Oh, and some aluminum. And more iron. Just keep going. Keep going down this chain. Uh, but, yeah, so obviously we can kind of do uh, this. And get ourselves some sky stone. So yeah, I think we can make the drawer controller, which would be swell. Um, should we just... Yeah, let's just do it all. Oh, oh, that graphical uh, upsetting. Mm -hmm. There we go. Whole bunch of sky stone. And we did get an insky inscriber calculation press. That's good. Uh, let's just mine out this as well. Might as well take it home with us while we're here. We can always come back for more later once we require it, right? I don't care that the meteor stays there, for example. Um, so, yeah, we got a chest. We got some sky stone. We can get that going. I think we can actually do it. So, we'll probably do that. I kept this uh, draft horse mare. No clue what it does. But I'm like, okay, you're already in the pen. We'll keep you. We'll keep you. And I did a whole bunch of gardening around here, too. Oh, my Lord. All the trees and stuff like that that we had. Or the, uh, all those crop, the Pam's things, the windy gardens and stuff. It's crazy. Too much. Too much. Turn up soup. Let's go. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. Get those numbers up a little bit. We were kind of neglecting it out of the get-go. All right. A couple things uh, that we want to jump into here. So, first of all, let's see about getting this drawer controller. Uh, reinforced stone is grout, stone, and clay dust. Clay with an engineer's hammer. I think we have an engineer's hammer. We do. Excellent. And I know we have clay. Four, like that. Boom, boom. We'll get us clay dust. Excellent. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have some leftover grout somewhere right there. Amazing. And we have some of that polished andesite that we've kind of taken off of other things. So let's first of all get this reinforced stone. Boop, boop. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, that's step one. Awesome. The redstone engineering block, we're going to need copper plates, a constant tan. So constant tan is going to be, uh, let's take a look at the alloying. It's one nickel to one copper, okay? And we need four of it, so let's do four of that and four nickel. There it is right there. So we can do constant tan in here. That'll work out well. And get our ingots down. Beautiful. So that'll get that going. Other than that, we need some copper in general. I think, if I remember correctly, with the hammer, we need two, right? Yeah, that's only going to give me the three plates. So we need a little bit more copper as well. Okay, good, good. No big deal. We are cruising. All right, excellent. That's going to get us two. Beautiful. We're going to need four redstone torches with uh, just some uh, standard plank. Okay, good. Four redstone torches. One, two. Four. Nice. All right. Beautiful redstone gear. Now this we can also make into mills, right? Like the hand mill. We can totally make that, right? We could start into some extra utilities as well. Okay. Constantan, eight ingots. Oh, we only needed four. Oh, well, it doubles. It's fine. No big deal. Okay. Let's get this guy in position a little bit. Like so. As we pour out the constant tan, and we can get all of this set up 
to get our drawer controller. So that'll give us the redstone engineering. We need the skystone block, which is just smelted up skystone. I'm not going to be too concerned about uh, some of our capitalization of like tiny coal and stuff like that. So we'll get around to it. There we go, Constantin. Let's get our copper out now. Can I do a plate cast? Is that a thing? That's a thing, right? It is a thing. Why am I not doing a plate cast? Right? One ingot for that. One ingot. It's only one ingot instead of two. Why am I not doing that? Okay, we might have to do that. We might have to do that. I'm being silly. Okay, good. Redstone engineering blocks. Excellent. So let's place those down with our reinforced stone. That'll be the first step. We should have our skystone block, which we do. We need one diamond. Easy enough. And, oh, last but not least was, I think it was any sort of uh, chest here, right? I think it's six sticks and a chest. Boom, boom. Oh, that's the frame drawer. Whoops. Can we use the frame drawer? Probably not, right? No. No. Of course we can't. Way to go, silly. Way to go, silly. Oh, and this is a pain. This is a pain in the butt. Okay. Tough tool rod. One, two, three, four. This is such a pain to make a chest. You guys have no idea. No idea. Because I haven't shown it on camera. And I've mainly been looting chests as much as I possibly can. So you need the tough tool rods with oak wood and then a button to make a chest. And then from there, you can make yourself your drawer. All right. It's ridiculous. All right. Drawer controller. Get. Very nice. Um, one of the things as well that I want to get is some trim uh, of the spruce variety, which is spruce planks and sticks. That's easy enough. We can do that. We can handle that. Uh, if I ever get enough. There we go. Okay. And some sticks. Let's grab one more. Excellent. Okay. So spruce trim. Trim is cool. You kind of place it down and what it'll do is it'll connect your system up, right? So it'll keep everything connected and keep it all kosher. So basically what this will do is if we have dirt, right? Like so, we can click and it'll place the dirt to where we want it to go. Very nice. I don't have a lock for this yet. Um, I guess we could probably make that too. It's pretty easy to do overall. The lock, um, I think it's just some gold, if I'm not mistaken. Where is it? Is it? It's a key, right? It's a key. What am I doing? It's a key. Oh, okay. That's not bad. It is another drawer though. Oh. Yeah, so I'll have to get a key at some point here as well. I'm pretty sure I have the gold. I do. Uh, so I'll put that in here so that I don't forget about it. But I'll probably do that one off camera just because making more chests and all that type of stuff. Kind of boring, kind of lame. Takes too long, right? Anyways, let's carry on. Let's carry on. Last episode, we talked about a whole bunch of different things. We didn't progress too much, and, well, even this one, maybe I'm not progressing fast enough either, but I'm kind of just playing and having fun, right, in the world. All things considered, though, we need to polish off some quests, don't we? Like, we need to start down a train. We didn't get very far with forestry, and we needed to get ourselves the Coke brick, right? So, the Coke oven bricks is basically... It's the porcelain clay that's getting us, which is the bones. Now, last episode, I was talking about building a mob farm, wasn't I? But I found something. I found something in my adventures over in the desert over there. And I can show you on the map where it is. It is right here. I mined out a big chunk of it. But it was a basically a skeleton 
of a giant something or other. I don't know what it was. But it got us. Where is it? Right here. Bone blocks. Yeah. This is going to solve all of our problems. Because as you can see, one bone block gives you nine bone meal. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. I love it a whole bunch. And we can keep some of these around to craft some other things as well. So this was a great find and will allow us to now make ourselves the Coke brick. So without further ado, I'm going to start cooking up some clay. One, two, boom. One, two, boom. Because we're going to need a decent amount of this stuff into bricks. Beautiful. And then we're going to get porcelain clay as well. And then we're going to need some sandstone in the middle. So let's get a little bit of bone meal. Not Let's not get all the bone meal, if you know what I mean. And then we'll get some of this. And how much of these do I need? I need 27, right? So 7, it's what, 9 of them? 9 times 4 is what? 36. So we need 36 bone meal. Might as well do the math, right? Perfect. So 36 bone meal with that will give us 36 porcelain clay. If I'm doing this wrong, oh well, acrylic dirt, right? It should be right though, right? Right? All right. The sandstone though, are we going to have enough? I don't think we're going to have enough, are we? Probably not. Uh, let's just see. No, not in the slightest. Um, we might have to go mine a little bit of sandstone. You know what? I'll go get that going um, while we wait. You know what? Let's get a sleeping mat quickly so that I don't... Or a sleeping bag. Which one's cheaper? The mat is cheaper. Okay. Boom. With a wool. Do I have any other color wool? Just making sure I'm using my resources effectively. Yeah, no, we're fine. Okay, so this with this. No? Oh, it's got to be in a crafting grid? Oh, it's got to be red. That's what it's got to be. It's got to be red. Um, I think I have a red dye. Hold on. Pretty sure I have red dye. Right there. Ah, oh, nice. Look at me go. Look at me go. Boom, boom. There we go. Sleeping mat. Awesome. This will allow us to sleep while we travel. So I'm going to go get some sandstone over in the desert over here. And I'll meet you guys back at the base so that we can finish uh, building whatever it is we're building. Whatever it is. The Coke oven. That's what it is. Alrighty, we are back. I got the sandstone. I forgot how quick it was. I did it all in one day, and I ended up with four more stacks of sandstone and a whole bunch of sand um, because of our excavator. I completely forgot that it's super easy with that mod. So, uh, yeah, as you can tell, I'm not the most familiar with that one, but that's okay. We will learn together and progress together, right? So, boom, you do that. Took everything out of the inventory that I had, and we completed our quest. Look at us go. Look at us go. So one fluid pump, one portable tank, or 32 iron plates. Um, the fluid pump, I think, is the most technical. What is that? That's seven plates, copper. Oh, yeah, that's another six. So what is that, 13 plates? Yeah. You can easily make that, though, right? You can easily make that out of the 32 plates. The portable tank? Yeah, that one's not complicated at all. At all. Um, glass, copper, and some stuff. So, your best bet here is definitely... Oh, you get all of them. Oh, you get all of them. Oh. Even better. Even better, everyone. Even better. So I think we need to move this because I think right over here is actually a pretty decent spot right in this corner for our Coke oven, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go like so and we're going to build it up, 
Okay. I think that this is a good spot for it. I really do. Yeah, I, I like this spot. I like it quite a bit. All right. Uh, oh, boy. It's too fast. It's too fast. <laughs> there we go. Nailed it. We'll do that. We'll do that. Keep it in the corner. Got to keep it in the corner. All right. Hammer. And bam. Nailed it. Sweet. Awesome. So we got ourselves the gate for immersive engineering done, which is awesome. So that allows us to now go into immersive engineering. Uh, which requires the engineer's hammer and manual. Okay. I think we already have the hammer, unless I have to make another one because this one's damaged, um, which could potentially be a thing, right? It could be. Um, and more importantly, let's get this thing fired up, right? Let's get some coal. You know what? Let's do blocks. Let's do blocks of coal. Get this thing fired up the right way. We'll do up uh, nine. Yeah, nine blocks of coal. There we go. And throw it on in there. Get this guy started. It's going to take a bit of time anyways. So that'll be that'll be fine. That's good. Um, so we got our portable tank. We got some iron plates. And we got a fluid pump. Now that fluid pump would allow us to do some pretty cool things. We could jump into the nether. We could get some of that type of stuff. Oh, I can just check this one. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, we're here. Yeah, I got another hammer. Awesome. Okay. Actually, that's not too, too bad. So if we go through some plates or something, it'll work well. Okay. Coke oven. We got that. What? Oh, yeah. I just pick one. I'm going to go middle. Let's go middle. Boom. Advanced power cell. <gasps> that's really, really good. Wow. Wow. Wowzers. Okay. Cool. All right. Loot can give you some good things. This just in. Um, treated wood is definitely something we need to get. Uh, LV energy. We could look to get something like this, but we don't really have any power at this point in time. So it's kind of strange to have the energy... Um, storage off of this, but that's okay. The alloy kiln's pretty cool. Um, we could do that guy up pretty quickly. Let's take a look at the kiln brick and, and maybe we go from there. Even though we have the smeltery, uh, it's brick and sandstone, and I think I need eight. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Brick, sandstone. For like that, yeah. That should be it, right? Yeah, alloy kiln. Okay, perfect. We'll go middle again. Middle again. Ice pillar. That's ice, though, right? I just got ice. Pretty sure that's ice. Yeah, just plain old ice. Okay. I'm fine with that, actually. Um, I am nowhere near an ice biome, so getting some ice at this stage of the game, perfectly fine with it. Perfectly fine with it. Um, I don't think we're going to make the actual alloy kiln, but it was nice to do it and unlock more things, right? Blast furnace is definitely something we're going to have to look into. Treated wood, the thermal electric generator. This might be the best way to go for our early power here. So let's take a look at that and see what's all involved. A constantan plate, copper coil, steel ingot. Yeah. So the steel ingot's going to kind of mess with us, isn't it? We will not be able to get that steel, if I remember correctly, unless we have a blast furnace. I don't think we can make it in here either. Alloying. Liquefacted coal and iron. Can we? Maybe we can. One ingot, 100 millibuckets. 25 to 18. 18 is, you know what? Let's give this a try quickly. Let's see what we get. I mean, worst case, we mess up the smeltery and have to just kind of 
remove some things. I'm not too concerned, but let's see if we can actually smelt down the coal, which we did. So can we just make steel? Because that would be swell uh, if we could and really easy, all things considered. Right? Like, that would be super easy. So, we'll wait and see once that finishes. But, yeah. Let's pull this bronze out of here, too. I've kind of just been leaving it in the smeltery. Not been dealing with it. So, let's pull some of this stuff out as we mess up the whole thing. And hopefully we get some steel. If we get that, that would be pretty awesome. Could probably avoid some of the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's steel. Okay. All right. Um, uh, yeah. So, three steel is required for this. Copper wires we can make. We need a plate as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Steel. I'm going to make some of it. All right, so I'm just finishing up some plate casts. As you can see, this is way more effective. I've made all the steel and the constantan that I require, basically. And now I'm just getting the copper plates to make the copper wiring for the, uh, the middle part, the copper coil block. Okay, overall, pretty easy-ish build, to say the least, um, for us to do. Okay, so that guy comes in like this. I hope I made enough. I might not. I think I did, right? Yeah? Okay, yeah, I did. Perfect. That gives us that. And that goes there. Good. That guy goes there and there. That gives us the one. Yeah, oh, that's right. I have to make another one, right? Okay, but that's okay. So we got that. We got an ice bucket. Lava bucket, we ha got the ice. Perfect. Middle loot. Let's go, right? Middle loot, best loot, phantom face, epic. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It, yeah. Yeah, it is. All right, cool. So we got the thermoelectric generator. We're kind of jumping a little all over the place here. I mean, the external heater is going to be super nice for us to have. Um, but our main goal here was to get the treated wood. Now I'm still waiting a little bit for, uh, some of that stuff to come through, if you know what I mean. Um, but for the most part, we're almost there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put our thermoelectric right there. Perfect. So we're going to have water on one side, which is good. And then on this side here, I think I'll put ice. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Right? We just got to be a little cautious with our lighting if we do that, right? That should be fine, though. Yeah, I think so. I think that'll be fine. Okay, good. So this will be our ice. We'll put that down. We'll see what happens. It might just melt. Water's still pretty effective anyways. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So we got water and ice on that side. And then we're going to need some lerva. Some lerva. We got some of that right over here. Eventually, we will uh, whittle down this pile 100%, right? So there we go. A little bit of lerva. A little bit of lerva. It's kind of nice. It's a little reassuring having a couple of walls. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> it's been a while since I've had a few walls, so it's kind of reassuring. Kind of, sort of. Let's get a little bit more dirt, and let's just fill in the rest of this. So that guy will go there. This should start to gain some energy going, which is nice. Uh, but that lava is probably going to be melting our stuff, right? So let's just cover it for now. Um, and then I'm going to stick another lava here. Yeah, it melted the ice. And that's fine. That's no big deal. Okay. 
And above that's going to go our furnace. Shazam. Just like so. Good. I like it. I like it a lot. So this guy should be charging up. Now, the other thing that it said there was the heater. And I know we're going way late here. Um, but the external heater is another copper coil block, iron ingot, copper ingot. Yeah, you know what? I might make this guy off camera. It's pretty much all the same stuff that we just did, isn't it? 100% the same. So, and I'm going to have to go and get more copper as well. Our copper supply is rather limited, especially because I'm about to use 16 of them, right? We did get some creosote though now. So now we can get a bucket of creosote. We can get any type of plank. And we can make ourselves some treated wood. Very nice. Got that as well. Might as well make a little bit of this. Um, we're going to, I think, need a decent amount of it. So let's get a little bit of this going. Boom and boom. Five buckets worth. Nice. All right. Good and good. Sweet. A little bit of a little bit of extra birch still lying around. But we got ourselves some tree wood planks. Let's go claim that reward as well. Of course, in the middle, like we've been doing. Um, and then we get to go from there. This also does open us back into our forestry line that we were originally going on. Protein and vegetable. Shrimp, pork, okra, hush puppies. Well, thank you very much. I will gladly take variety of food. So anyways, that's going to be it for today, ladies and gents. I know, right? Kind of a crazy episode. I might have been a little all over the place. It's not a big deal. But uh, yeah, we got some stuff done, which is good. We got the Coke oven, which that'll be firing up creosote like no tomorrow. I showed you some of this, showed you some of that. We have ourselves our animals over there, which I should probably go feed. We'll go feed them as we go and leave here today. And, uh, yeah, a big thanks to the support, the continued support that you guys have all been providing me, sticking with me, all that kind of stuff, so that we can keep having fun together. So, anyways, that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, this wonky, wonky episode. And uh, we'll see you next time. Why is there a shadow there? Why was there a shadow there? It's fine. Bye-bye. See you.